Hi, I'm John from Chatamize, and in this video, I will show you what WhatsApp message templates are, when you need to use them, and how you can create them and get them approved by WhatsApp. So without further ado, let's dive in. So first, I will provide a quick recap of the WhatsApp message rules. With WhatsApp, we have two types of conversations. We have user-initiated conversations and we have business-initiated conversations. User-initiated conversations are conversations that are started by users with your WhatsApp chatbot. And business-initiated conversations are conversations that are started by your WhatsApp chatbot with your users. And every time a user interacts with your WhatsApp chatbot, a 24 hour window will open. So this means that every time a user is sending a message, clicking on a button or starting a conversation, a 24 hour window will open. And within that 24 hour window, you can send any message to the user. You can send promotional messages and you can send non-promotional messages. But if you want to send a message outside the 24 hour window, or you want to start a conversation with your WhatsApp chatbots, you need to use WhatsApp message templates. And there are three important things about WhatsApp message templates. So the first thing is that only verified businesses can send WhatsApp message templates. So you need to verify your business with Facebook. And if you haven't done that yet, I actually have a video on my YouTube channel about that. So I just added the link to the description. And if you haven't verified your business with Facebook yet, just click on that link and watch that video. The second thing is that we can only send WhatsApp message templates in certain situations, and these are called categories. And lastly, every WhatsApp message template must be approved by WhatsApp themselves. And later on in this video, I will show you how you can create your own WhatsApp message template and get it approved. So WhatsApp has defined three categories of conversations. And the first category is utility conversations. So utility conversations are updates about transactions or updates about account or billing information. And Facebook actually provides some documentation on how these WhatsApp message templates looks like. So if we go to the documentation, then here we have the utility templates. And then here you can find a definition and some examples. So the definition, for example, can be confirm or suspend an existing transaction. So this could be your order is confirmed. Thank you for your reservation. Your payment was received. These kinds of things. Then we have change or updated transaction. So this, for example, could be a shipment update. So here it is. Your order has shipped. It will be delivered on Friday. Reminder, your appointment is at 1 p.m. on Tuesday. Your password has changed. These kinds of things. And lastly, we have account billing or payment notification. So here's your monthly statement you requested. Your payment method failed. Click here to entry, your payment was accepted or your payment was filled. And these are some examples of the WhatsApp templates that you could use under the utility category. The second category that we have is authorization. And authorization is basically two-factor authentication. So normally if you log in at Facebook, you often get a two-factor pop-up. You need to fill in your phone number and then you will get a text message. And within that text message, you get an authorization code. And then you need to fill in that authorization code at Facebook and then Facebook says, okay, you are authorized. But with the WhatsApp message template, you can also send that authorization code over WhatsApp instead of via SMS. And that's actually also the example that Facebook provides. So if we go to the authentication template here, it basically has just one definition, which is provide an authentication code and this is your verification code for your security, do not share it, or this code expires in 15 minutes. But this category is just really simple, it's just for authorization, two-factor authentication, that's pretty much what it is about. And the last category is marketing conversations. And this is the most exciting category, and I think most businesses will use this category as well. So with marketing conversations, we can actually send people information about offers, about promotions, about uh, webinar invites, about webinar updates, like a lot of things we can do with this marketing category. And if we go to the Facebook documentation, Facebook themselves, they say uh, it includes promotions or offers, informational updates or invitations for customers to respond or take action. Any conversation that does not qualify as utility or authentication 
is a marketing conversation. And if we go to the examples that Facebook provides, there are actually a lot of them. So we can send promotions or offers. So if you buy two or more coffees, you will get $5 off. Thank for your order. Use code SAVE20 for 20% off your next order. We can send welcome or closing messages like hello, welcome to our profile on WhatsApp or thank you, have a good day. We can send updates, invitations, even newsletters or recommendations. So our store has moved, come and check us out. Good news, the product you saved is back in stock. And we can also send requests to respond or complete a new transaction. So thank you for your order. We will love your feedback. Please click here or your application is waiting for you. Click here to complete. So this is actually very interesting because this marketing category is very broad. And with all of those three categories, it's really important that you always need permission from the user. So for example, if someone orders an order on your web shop and you want to send them an order notification, you need to have permission from that person to actually send them a notification on WhatsApp. And this is true for all the categories, whether it's utility, whether it's authorization, or whether it is marketing, you need to have permission from the user. So now that we know what WhatsApp message templates are and the categories that we can use, it's time to create one ourselves. And I'm going to show you how you can do this on ManyChat because ManyChat is my preferred chatbot platform on WhatsApp, but it could be the case that you're using a different chatbot platform. That's perfectly fine because the process of getting a WhatsApp message template is very similar on each and every chatbot platform. So if I go to ManyChat and I go to settings, I can go to WhatsApp, then here I can click on message templates and I can click on new message templates. Let's say we are an e-commerce company and we want to send someone a coupon code once they did an order with us. And we can do that with a WhatsApp message template. So we will just call this coupon code after order and the category will be marketing. If we would just be sending, hey, thank you for your order, we could actually use utility but because we're sending, hey, here's your coupon code, it means that we need to use marketing. Then we can add our language. So for now, I will just go with English, but almost any language is here. And then we can add a header. And then header could be a text, an image, a video, or a file. So for now, I will go with text. And then I will add, here is your gift. And we can also add an emoji. So what you can see is that the header is in bold and the body of our message will be just in normal plain text. So I'll just copy this for my second screen. And here we say, okay, thank you for your order. As a gift, we want to give you an exclusive coupon code that gives you 50% off on your next order. Are you interested? And then here we can also add a ManyChat field because ManyChat recognizes, okay, we're using a first name. Uh, then we also need to provide an example of that first name. So in this case, I'll just type in John. And we can also add a footer. So if you're adding a footer, it will just display as gray text at the bottom. So let's say uh, I will say here, send by Chatomize. You can see here it is send by Chatomize. In general, I'm not using that in this tutorial, but just know that you have that option. And lastly, we can add buttons. So here we can have a regular button, which will just bring you further inside your WhatsApp funnel, or you can use a URL button and this will go to your website. So for now, I'm just going with the regular button and it will be, yes, give me the code. That is too long. So I just say, yes, give me code. And another button with no, not interested. So that's basically it. So here you have the, the header, then you have like the body of the message and then we have two buttons. And the next thing that we actually need to do is click on send to review. So when you click on send to review, this WhatsApp message template will actually be sent to WhatsApp. And then someone inside WhatsApp will look at your WhatsApp message template and will check whether it fits with the categories that we discussed before. And once it is approved, you will just get an email with your WhatsApp message template as being approved. So the only thing you need to do is just click on send to review and click on submit. And then you will see that there is an error because we have added an emoji in the header. So I can just remove this emoji here. So ManyChat will also like perform validation, click on send to review, click on submit, and then that is working. So once you have submitted your message template, 
then you will see your name, you will see the status, so currently it is in review, and as long as it is in review, you cannot use it inside your ManyChat automations. But I already did this for one of my clients, so I will just show you how it looks like when it is approved and how we can use it inside our ManyChat automations. So when I go to my client's account, go to settings, go to WhatsApp, then here we have message templates and then here you'll see it is approved. So here you have the status approved. Also here you can see the category and you can see the language. And because I'm from the Netherlands, the language in this case is in Dutch. So then if you go to automation and we can click on new flow, I will just add someone from scratch. Then here we can add a WhatsApp message and then as the message type, we can add the message template. And once you've chosen that, you can click here on choose message template and just choose one of the two message templates that I currently have. And when you click on that, you will see everything that is inside your WhatsApp message template and you can actually use it in your WhatsApp automations. And that's how you can create your own WhatsApp message template, get it approved and use it inside your ManyChat automations. Lastly, I also wanted to talk about the pricing of these WhatsApp message templates because you actually need to pay more for these WhatsApp message templates than just for regular conversations. So if we go to the Facebook documentation, and it is this one, then if you scroll down here, you have the rate cards for the conversations. And because I'm in Europe, I would just go with the Euro rate card. But for example, if you're in the United States, you can just go with the USD rate card. So I will click on this and this will bring you to a CSV. And in the CSV, you can, for each and every country or for a specific region of the world, you can see how much a conversation costs. So I'm currently in the Netherlands and you can actually see how much it costs. So if we want to send a WhatsApp message template, so just for one conversation to one user, it will cost you 13 cents. And if we're going with utility or we're going with authentication, it costs around six cents. So you automatically already see that marketing is way more expensive than utility or authentication. And lastly, you also have the service conversations and these are conversations that are actually started by your users within the 24 hour window. But that's it. That's how you can create your own WhatsApp message templates and get them approved by WhatsApp. And if you want to get started with WhatsApp automation but don't know where to begin, I actually have a course on my website called the WhatsApp Automation Starter Pack. And within this course, you will learn how you can get started with WhatsApp automation and create your own WhatsApp chatbot. So I added the link in the description and I highly recommend checking that out. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have any questions on creating WhatsApp message templates or on creating your own WhatsApp chatbot, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible.